Hey traders, Joseph here from ACAF. So today's been quite interesting. Uh, we've, we're seeing a real shift away from risk uh, back into safe havens and selling has been pretty uh, solid so far today against uh, really everything from, the, from a risk point of view and it's not just on uh, FX, it's stocks as well which are really sharply lower as well. And so we've seen better than expected uh, employment data so far today. Uh, the NZD, sorry, Kiwi GDP came out um, better than expected, but still, you know, down around that 12, minus 12 percent point. And we saw, you know, this really got going last night after the Fed, and we saw that the basically the FOMC said that interest rates are going to be low for a very long time. Um, but I think what the market was missing was more details on st from a stimulus side on uh, bond buying. So there wasn't really anything confirmed on that front and we have seen a real jump back to the US dollar so we can see here on the Aussie dollar daily uh, we can just see that the Aussie dollar was having a very good night uh, previous, last night and we can just see that really sharp pullback and today selling and this is despite you know some um, decent news now this isn't only on the Aussie we're seeing uh, the euro as well which is sharply lower today after giving back that rally and uh, closing lower yesterday and the pound which is not as bad as the other two but uh, we're seeing a little bit of a fight back but still some a bit of uh, lower price there now where it gets interesting is really on the dollar cad now oil jumped last night after inventories and we'll just touch on oil quickly so oil is lower today but we can see that very sharp move higher after inventories that saw basically, you know, close, you know, over four percent added, and uh, price got back up and closed over above that uh, 40, 50 point. But today, selling has uh, set in. There is still worries about um, demand and uh, basically real demand for oil due to the coronavirus pandemic and um, how that's going to uh, impact onto output. So that's a developing story that will continue to go on, but we will um, just continue to focus on some of the risk markets. So we're just looking at some of the pairs to the yen now, we can see a, a break of um, that point here at 76.43 and the next uh, test we'll be looking for if from sales will be at 76.12 a break that point starts to open up something that's slightly different and we also now really start to confirm a break of trend here on the Aussie yen and this is after really a bit of a move by buyers earlier in the week which has been really cut down and the euro yen is probably quite one of the worst of the lot we've seen a really strong fall so far this week and it was really um, the selling really got going yesterday and um, so far in the last two sessions till now we've seen you know just over one percent taken off price and we've seen a real clean break of uh, that point that support point around that one twenty four forty four. so gold is another that's really getting um, knocked around a little bit by the USD strength today and we're seeing so far this resistance point here at 1961.27 and we're seeing that move lower today and we've lost 17.65 so far now just onto the USD uh, now with the, we're just going to focus on the dollar CAD because normally when oil uh, goes up um, the dollar CAD does go down so and what we can really see from yesterday is a real sharp pullback with the US dollar strength and today uh, as risk is getting mowed down and oil is lower which is helping it we're seeing a strong rally of around 73 pips so far today and we have broken above uh, this point here and this is a resistance point that we were watching previously which sort of failed um, last time it was tested but for now we are seeing buyers moving above that point so it really does start to put it back into play that are um, we're seeing you know a real confirmation and break and hold of a breakout of that downtrend and are we seeing now if we just measure this up a new um, uptrend starting to begin on the dollar CAD so definitely something to watch we want to see if this can close above uh, that recent resistance tonight if we do see a pullback below that level it could be a slight worry from buyers side so so finally now um, we will just touch on stocks at the moment because we are seeing some pretty decent selling at the moment on stocks and we are not even in uh, Europe you know the London session just yet so it's still half an hour away and we're seeing you know close to 1% lower on the German 30 and over on the US indexes you know we're seeing some really solid selling so that resistance point there at 28.089 to the 90 area uh, we've seen so far today a real heavy move down so it's 1.72% lower at the moment on the US 30 and we are seeing um, the ASX as well has seen some heavy selling but with this 
finish up on the US indexes. So we're looking at the SPX 500 here, and we're seeing a similar story. We're seeing a very, you know, very strong move lower. It's close to 2% at the moment lower, and we are testing this level here, which is, has been support. So a close through there could start to uh, really uh, push the idea that possibly that's, um, that we have a short to medium term correction or downtrend slash correction forming, depending on how you uh, d define or describe a correction. So, and finally, just on the NASDAQ, which is also uh, seeing heavy selling, uh, we are seeing a follow-up from yesterday's uh, move lower. We are seeing further move lower of 2.13%, uh, and we are sitting at this level here at that 11.035 area, which has shown support. So if that does break again, like with the SPX, are we starting to see something a little bit bigger starting to form now? And could we see a, you know, are we starting to see a new drown trend start to develop? So a lot will come in to see how uh, buyers to, uh, respond to this into tonight's uh, London and New York session. Um, for now, uh, I have been looking around. Um, we can't see, like, apart from the FMC last night, we can't see any real massive uh, indicators that would be uh, influencing the selling. So we'll just have to uh, keep an eye on things and see how things start to develop through uh, tonight's London and European sessions to uh, see uh, if sellers are really going to uh, continue to hold drive. So um, that's it for now. Um, we, we do have. Uh, the Bank of England tonight on interest rate decisions and statements. So rates are expected to stay on hold. Last time I was checked, and um, the statement will be one to watch. Now, ongoing is the current Brexit uh, development. So do keep an eye on that as the week goes on because um, part of the legislation did, was approved, I believe, earlier this week for Boris Johnson's um, idea really to uh, scrap the. Uh, withdrawal agreement so that uh, will also be a factor to keep an eye on for the rest of the week and uh, another factor for the pound uh, if more updates uh, to come out about that and um, due to instability it could also add to uh, weakness in markets other than the pound so keep an eye on that and um, yeah tune into the uh, Bank of England rate decision later on um, this evening so until now we hope you enjoy the rest of your trading day um, good trading and until tomorrow, bye for now.